I'm Marnell from Mimi's Keepsakes and I am back today to do a Friendship Friday video again. It is uh, Dale from Not Too Shabby Chic um, hosts or started this the Friendship Friday videos and I think it's a great idea. So I would like to mention a couple of people and then I also have some happy mail to share with you. Um, the first person I want to share with you guys is um, Christina's Creations and I don't know I think Christina and I have the exact same taste because most of the videos I watch and I would comment on if you know if I look through scroll through the list of people that left a comment Christina's name is in there so Christina um, thank you for su your support like she would comment on most of my videos too so thank you Christina I love the fact that you're watching and I love watching your videos um, please I'll link her channel in the description box and the other person that almost I would say 60% of the video she's she's left a comment since I started she was probably one of my first subscribers is um, Sherry Vanderpool Sherry thank you so much for all your support I am um, really enjoy reading all your comments and I like the fact that you know there's people that comes back every time to watch it's just fun to know that they're that I'm not scaring everybody off <laughs> I'm just joking um so yes and of course there is a lot of there's a lot of you that comments all the time and I will try to mention all of you as I go along with this process and I do want to thank all of you I've had quite a bit of new subscribers the um, past two weeks so welcome to all the new subscribers I um, hope you enjoy and come back and please leave a comment and tell all your friends <laughs> I really appreciate that so this was just for you to look at something while I'm talking so my first um, happy mail came from Brenda um, let me just see what Brenda Clark and I think Brenda found me or sent my, found my address through the um, Canada Junk Journal Facebook group if you're living in Canada and you haven't subscribed to that please do it's lots of fun they have um, you know swaps and stuff and uh, people share their um, their projects and so it's really a lot of fun and then I thought, well, I'll just see. I'll just see if um, Brenda has a channel, and she does. So I subscribed to Brenda's channel. Sorry, Brenda, I didn't know you have a channel. Had a channel, but please go watch her videos. It's really nice to watch, and there's lots of projects on there. So she sent me this pocket, and I'm thinking it was made with one piece of paper not sure Brenda I'll see if you have this on your channel with some stitching on the side and um, then she has these tickets in there on like tucked on this side where, where did I un there on this side this beautiful collage there's some lace and then in here there's more pieces to use And then on this side, even more. <laughs> so there, I love this. I wonder if this, there, yeah, that must be a printable. And then these little stickers. And this is beautiful too. And then lo I love these postcards. They are absolutely gorgeous. I think it's, it is probably like, um, it's new postcards but I'm wondering if these come from Florilegium not sure the book looks kind of like the same style and then these little birdies are just beautiful thank you Brenda I will definitely use all of this thank you very much and then the other happy mail I received this week was um, 
It came from a bet from Yes, I Made It Myself, and we did the Fall Swap 2022. I have a playlist for that if you want to go look at those projects. Um, the swap ended at the end of August, but you can still look at the projects and go to Beth's channel as well. Yes, I made it myself. Uh, she had wonderful projects too, and she sent me... I had to open it. I couldn't wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> this beautiful card that I won't re read on screen, but... So she sent me the things that she made on her channel through the sh swap and I was thinking I do need to make some of this shaker cards and it's just beautiful and she used um, this I think was graphics fairy can't remember what the name of the kit was but I do believe it was graphics fairy but it's just gorgeous and then this is a booklet oh and look at that so beautiful yeah so she binded the booklet and added those little flags in there from probably little scrap pieces of paper and this is just so pretty oh and some tags it's beautifully aged wow And this one oh, all goes w together so well <laughs> I'll have to do something maybe I'll make a use this and make a spread in my personal journal for fall using all of these because it's I would like to keep them thank you Beth so yes go look at all these people their channels I'll have the links and their channel names in my description box and you can go and see what they are up to and thank you again for everybody who supports me and and watches my channel okay so let's add this to my journal and i was thinking of adding this one in as a pocket i'm just adding art glitter glue to two sides like there and there <laughs> and that can go in there and um, I'm thinking of using one of these two as pockets they're both beautiful do like that one with that so I'm gonna use this one as a pocket and then I can write on the back and still write in the background there oh, put the glue on the wrong side that's not gonna work it happens <laughs> there I'm just going to use my little clips from the dollar store add them on there I think I moved it and now it's not straight anymore okay and then this booklet I will put in here maybe add oh, I don't want something before in front of this maybe add this one on here and these can go in here so all of these has writing spaces on the back and plus this little booklet has writing space inside so this would probably be enough writing space for a week of journaling it's not that I write pages and pages of each day because I'm just home <laughs> there's not much happening at the moment so I will write um, probably about the weekend when my daughter came home there was lots of stuff happening last weekend so I'll write about that on there 
and add some photos. Oh yes, and I do want to add Beth's card in here too. And I'll add some photos and things and then on this side I'll leave this entire area for writing and then I will add Barbara's pocket in here but I do not want to glue it down this is too pretty yeah because I don't want to glue it down because it's a, oops, a double sided pocket just add a little bit of glue back in there <laughs> Um, so let's find, I think I need a hinge and then I have lots of room for, you know, photos or I can even glue some paper on here or write in between if I only have a sentence or two that I want to write, which happens sometimes. And I'm thinking I do like this, um, silk, uh, satin ribbon with it. And maybe I'll take this off and add this. Would it work as a hinge? Or is it too small? It might be a little too small. Let's see. I have lace here. The lace is a little bigger wider yes and I can make it a little more you know sturdy with the ribbon on there as well and then it's not a see-through I think I'm gonna do that okay so cut this off and this the same length and um, then I'm going to use my fabric deck and um, put some fabric deck on here then glue it to the lace and then the lace to the papers. I'm just going to spread it with my finger as well so it would glue to all the pieces of the lace. Okay, And this is going to go on here the glue a little bit again and then I'm gonna put some fabric tack let's just make sure <laughs> this needs to go like that I don't think I'm gonna put it over or I can do it over this page Maybe that will be more secure. Okay, so we'll do that. So then this becomes a flip out. Oh, it's not totally straight on this side. Luckily, it's fabric tack and it still can be repositioned. Let's see if it's straight on this side. Yes. So I have all the, um, you know, postcards and things to write on in this pocket. So again, this would be give me a couple of days of writing, and I can add some photos on here. I'll show you next time when we do a journal with me again. And I was thinking of maybe adding a ruffle on here because I don't have 
I haven't put any lace or anything on for the longest time. So let's do that. And I'm just going to do it with my glue gun. Whoa! The glue is coming out like crazy. Glue gun explosion. Didn't want to come out and now it's all over the place. Okay. I'm using the bigger glue gun today because I actually like the smaller one better because the glue doesn't get as warm. But I don't have glue sticks left. I have to go and buy more. But I do want to do a ruffle today. Just have to be careful not to burn my fingers because this glue gets incredibly hot because it's actually my husband's <laughs> from the garage. So it's more like a Not really. Yeah, you probably can use it for crafting. Let's just add a little ruffle. And then this page is ready for writing. I usually decorate as I go. Sometimes like with Junk Journal July, I kind of decorated and then wrote in my journal. And I kind of enjoyed that. So it might be a new way for me to do it because then I can just sit down and write. I'm not thinking about, you know, how am I going to decorate this and I just add my photos and tickets and whatever I have that I want to add. Oopsie, that's very hot. Yeah, these came from Brenda Clark and I will she has a YouTube channel she's also from Canada and I will link her channel in my description box and also Beth's and all the other ladies I mentioned Christina and Sherry uh, Sherry doesn't have a channel but I will put her name in the description box and keep your eye open for her. She is a wonderful supporter of a lot of channels I've noticed. Okay. I think it's better if I just do a little bit and kind of let it cool down for a little bit and then that's why I like those little, you know, the small glue guns that you can buy at Walmart or even the dollar store have them sometimes. They don't get as hot but they still glue everything down for paper crafting. It's perfect. Maybe if you're doing other crafts you need these bigger guns, glue guns. But for what we're doing I think those little ones are perfect. here and just fold it over. Okay. And that corner needs to go down. Because yeah, this one I can't regulate as well. You know how much glue is coming out. And there we have a ruffle and both Brenda and Beth's um, Happy Mail are included in my journal and I'll have everything prepared this week just to start writing. So thank you for watching Friendship Friday and um, thank you to Dale from Not So Shabby Chic for hosting uh, this. It's, um, I think it's a great idea. And um, yeah, I'll see you again. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.